my dear students first let us understand how to release the memory which was dynamically allocated that means how to return the memory back to the operating system let us discuss how to free memory locations whenever we do not require them yes to do this we have to use free the memory which is dynamically allocated using malloc or calloc does not get freed on their own automatically the memory will not get released so we have to free them and to free them we have to use free free has to be used to release this memory yes syntax is free ptr ptr is the pointer this statement frees the memory which is pointed by ptr so ptr is pointing to the memory chunk whatever memory chunk ptr is pointing that will be freed by free let us consider a node pointed by p as shown below yes we have considered a single linked list node which is pointed by p we shall execute free p when we execute free p whatever memory location is pointed by p that will be freed meaning that memory location will be returned back to the operating system yes whatever memory which was pointed by p it is it is released meaning it is returned back to the operating system now the memory pointed by p is released very simple so free is used to release the memory uh, whenever we do not require the memory see whenever we uh, require memory we get it allocated using the malloc function or calloc function same way whenever we don't require memory we should be decent enough to return it back to the operating system also using the free function just now it is it's quite simple normally this free is used whenever we are deleting element in all the delete functions you can see a free is used now let us discuss how to delete an element at the beginning of a given single linked list case 1 when start is equal to null so when start is equal to null there is no linked list at all when there is no linked list how to delete we cannot delete there is no single linked list and hence deletion cannot be done therefore print a message deletion cannot be done as list is empty very simple case one is very simple case two when start is not equal to null meaning there are some uh, elements in the linked list so when there are some elements in the linked list definitely you can delete the first element element at the beginning so let us consider uh, two types when only one element is there when many elements are there yes now in the first case there is only one element a 10 and in the second type there are four elements 10 20 30 40 anyway in both the cases we have to delete 10 only so what we will do first temp is equal to start we shall assign temp to the starting no temp is equal to start yes temp is equal to start next if you have to delete the node at the beginning we have to change the address of start meaning start should not contain the address of the first node instead start should contain the address of the next node therefore start is equal to start of next we will move start see in this case in the first time start of next is null when you say start is equal to start of next start will become equal to null very good no problem next in the second time start is containing the address of the node 10 when you move start start will contain the address of the node 20 so start is equal to start of next yeah start will contain the address of node 20 meaning we have moved start by one node start is equal to start of next yes start is equal to start of next then before deleting 10 you display also that is deleted element is 10 yes delete element is temp of info temp of info is 10 you would display that now whatever node is pointed by temp that should be freed because we don't require that uh, node the node containing 10 we don't require we have to delete that anyway we have logically disconnected that but physically we have to delete that therefore we use free free temp meaning whatever node is pointed by temp it is freed so totally it is freed and last return start that's all the logic is very simple to delete an element at the beginning of a given singly linked list let us directly go to the function yes here the 
name of the function is delete SLL back meaning delete at the beginning of a singly linked list. So what is the parameter required? The start address of the linked list and also it returns a pointer to the uh, structure of the type node. Yes. Struct node star dem we have a temporary uh, pointer int item yes. If start is equal to null what did we do? Deletion is not possible as list is empty. Okay. Return start. Fine. Else temp is equal to start. This is what we did. Start is equal to start of next because start has to be moved to the next. Then deleted is element we have to display. So that is temp of info. Free temp has written the memory uh, which is pointed by temp then return start that's all the function actually in this function int item is also not required uh, what actually we have to do is item is equal to temp of info then display item you can do that otherwise uh, int item is not required so this is a very simple function if start is equal to null deletion is not possible as list is empty otherwise this logic first temp is equal to start Start should be moved one place to the next, one node to the next. Then print of temp of info, free temp. That's all the logic. I think deleting an element at the beginning of a given single linked list is quite simple. The logic is very simple.